RF man here. Today I want to demonstrate a new type of keying circuit that I've been working on. I think most of us are familiar with a conventional type circuit. I've got a schematic up here and you can see I've got a sensing capacitor C1 then I have a resistor and a small switching transistor which switches the coil of the relay and that in turn switches us from transmit mode to receive mode. So that's a conventional circuit. I think a lot of us are familiar with that. Now the new circuit I've been working on, um, you can see that it's, it's very different. Um, it has no transistor. It actually uses an opto coupler, which is right here. And that has basically an LED diode and a phototransistor. And you see the sensing capacitor, okay, much smaller, five picofarads. I've got a little bit more series impedance, and then I just use the RF signal to drive this photodiode. And basically, that in turn drives the phototransistor. So, what is the advantage to a circuit like this? Well, first of all, you're not drawing as much RF energy as you would with the conventional circuit because it takes very little current to drive the LED diode. So there's an advantage there. And then it has complete isolation of the 12 volts. So the 12 volts is completely isolated. The transistor inside there is a phototransistor and you can see it's a Darlington pair. So it has enough gain to drive the relay coil. So I'm gonna demonstrate this circuit now. I've got a, a breadboard version right here. Okay, I've got my system powered up. I've got a dual LD MOS amplifier, and I'm driving it with a, a Cobra, Cobra 25, and we'll be able to hear the relay and, and see the output power. So you can see as I key the mic, zoom in on the relay, see the contacts in the relay switching okay and you can also then see the output power I have it set to about a thousand watts dead key so this is a new type of circuit does not use a small signal transistor uses an optocoupler and again requires much less RF energy when sensing and driving the LED diode and it provides complete isolation between the RF signal and the 12 volts. So there's definite advantages to it, and I just want to demonstrate that tonight. It's the RF man.